Hello everybody, Joe here with Garden of Luma. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update on how my tropicals are doing through the winter here. Uh, we're into January now here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. I'm in growing zone 9B. And it's been a pretty mild winter so far. It's been like the perfect winter for fruit trees. Cold enough to get that chill for the stone fruit type trees. But not too cold for like the tropicals i think i've dipped down to about 30 degrees a few times but we've been consistently around like maybe lows of 35 ish so it does still get cold here's my soursop tree i want to start with the the ugly first as you can see it's thinned out quite a bit which shouldn't happen for a soursop tree and you can see kind of let me come around here This top here is pretty bare, which isn't good. It does still have some leaves on it, but has definitely suffered this year as I've left it out here in the cold. Typically I've brought this in on those cold nights, but this year I've just decided to leave it. It's about four years old and I've just gotten tired of moving container fruit trees around in and out of the garage. Uh, I've had some back trouble. So we'll see how it goes, if it makes it or not. I'm not really sure, but looking rough, but still alive. Here is my Jabba de Cabo. You can see all the bird poop all over this thing, but it's been fine, no issues whatsoever. Uh, white sapote next to it, it's been totally fine. Starting to push out flower buds. These can handle a good amount of cold. I'll show you this canistel here. This is the one I have in a pot. I have a couple in the ground, but they're fine. As well as you can see, this one's been fine. The only damage really I've had was from the summer right there, the summer scorch. Other than that, no issues really at all. Here is my one of my African Pride Atamoya seedlings and it's done fine as well here and this is the middle of the yard this is typically like my coldest spot and i found these to be about as hardy really as guava trees here so they'll get hit a bit so you'll prune them back maybe a third but otherwise they'll push through fine here this down here this is cold damage you can see when they get like this grayish color and burnt that's definitely cold damage. But otherwise, I mean, it looks pretty good here. There's my Indonesian seedless guava kind of leaning over there. And I've just left it because it's kind of helping to protect the sapodilla here. But I will prop that back up there. It wants to grow into that sun right there and that opening, so that's why it kind of leans as it grows. But really, it's pretty green, no real damage on that. My sapodillas have been fine, which I'm somewhat surprised. I thought these would be a little bit more sensitive to the cold than they've been, but they are older trees too, so they aren't, you know, like newly planted or very young. I also see here my first Silas Woods fruit starting there. So I'm excited about that. I hope it holds on. So I have not had any fruit on the Silas Woods yet. And coming over here next to it is my Tikal, which I've also seen at least one fruit set starting on this as well. And I have had fruit, one fruit on this this past year for the first time. And this also looks pretty green. It's got a block wall here, but it is east facing, so it doesn't really get too warm late in the day. And then it is kind of open here to winds, but there is a lot of concrete around, as you can see, houses and stuff, so maybe that's helping a bit, but no real damage at all on that. Here's my mess of a structure here that I got going on for my mangoes and i do have my sugar apple in here as well and i did forget to 
cover it last night and it got to about 33 ish so it got a little bit colder than i expected it was pretty nice the last couple days so i opened it up a bit so i have frost cloth up top here and then plastic around it and i'll peek inside here for you i mean everything in here is just totally fine no real issues at all and i've only put the heater in there on two nights i had it going when we had a frost warning got to about 30 that's really been the coldest it's been so far this year that definitely could change but hopefully it stays about like it's been here's my peruvian white guava again no major issues on it you can see some signs of cold it tends to get these darker or it'll get this paler green look to them before they turn brown and die but hasn't been too bad same with my barbie pink guava here this one definitely shows that color a lot more than my white guavas do And the ash tree recently dropped all its leaves, so it's gonna be a little bit more exposed here. This one's in a container, and again, I'm just gonna let it sit. My Jamaican cherry here has suffered a bit. You can see more of the yellowing and stuff. Some burnt foliage. It is kind of wedged in next to the guava, so I think that's helping a bit and it tends to get the first sunlight right there in the early morning, so I think that helps too. Well, this is also in a pot and I haven't moved it yet. My other Adamoya seedling, doing fine. I mean, it looks a little bit rougher, but this is normal this time of year to get some of these yellowing, burnt looking, because it does slowly shed its leaves throughout the winter here and then it'll fully drop them just as the new growth is pushing out, usually in like March. So that's fine. I don't really see much cold damage on this. Here is my wax jamboo, and I've kept this up by the house here under the patio for the entire winter. It has been a little beat up from the cold and stuff, but not too bad. It's dropped some leaves. You can see a couple there occasionally. I did bring this in the house since it is smaller a couple nights during that really cold snap we had around the 30 degrees where we had a frost warning. But other than that, it's been out here and it's doing okay. And lastly, I just wanted to show you guys the Barbados cherry. And this is the first year I've had this in the ground for the winter time. Typically I've grown this in a container if you followed any of my videos for a while. This was growing in a container for several years and I finally just decided I'm gonna put it in the ground because again, I'm kind of a little sick of the container stuff, but that's a whole nother story. But it's looking good. It is on a west facing wall, so this tends to be like the hottest part of my yard. So it doesn't get much morning sun, which means that it stays a little bit colder longer in the morning but this wall here heats up in the evening so i think that gives it a little bit of extra warmth to push through the nights you can see a little bit of cold again when it gets like this palish color it's not that full dark green look to it you can tell it gets a little bit nipped by the cold a bit and it isn't totally happy but it's pushing through, no major issues. So winter has been kind to us so far, unlike our brutal summer that we had. It has been really dry again this winter. Compared to the last couple, we've had some pretty wet winters the last few years, but this one's been extremely dry, which is good, I guess, for disease and fungal issues that you might get from cold, wet weather. But I've had to supplement some water throughout the winter this year for my in-ground trees. Typically, I'd almost just like never water them throughout the winter. But this year, since we've been so dry, I've had to, had to water a little bit. 
Hope your trees are doing really well through this winter. Check me out at GardenOfLuma.com for more tips on gardening and growing fruit trees, especially in hot, dry climates. Thanks for watching.